Paulina Susana Rubio Dosamonts, Spanish pronunciation, Paulina Rubita Jo, born the 17th of June 1971, generally known professionally as Paulina Rubio, is a Mexican singer, actress, television music competition judge, hostess, model, and businesswoman. She began her music career as original member of the pop group Timbreish from 1982 through 1991, before leaving the group in order to focus on her solo career. Her debut album, La Chica Dorada was released under Emmy Music and it reached position number 4 in Billboard Top Latin Albums and number 2 in Billboard Latin Pop. Her first single, Mio. Debuted in Billboard in position number 19 in Hot Latin Tracks and reached position number 3. Her next albums 24 Collates 1993, El Tiempo es Oro 1995, and Planeta Paulina 1996 also helped her become better known in Hispanic America. Her departure from Emmy Music happened in the same year. She rejected the contract by paying a lot of money to be free from Emmy Music, looking for freedom of expression and creativity. With her new label, Universal Music, she released her fifth studio album Paulina 2000 and her crossover album Border Girl 2002, both had commercial success worldwide, the first of these was nominated and won many awards. According to Billboard, Paulina was the best-selling Latin album in the United States in 2001, selling over 800,000 copies in the U.S. alone. The album reached two diamond records for two million sales worldwide only in 2001 certified by Nielsen SoundScan. Her follow-up albums, Pau Latina 2004 and Ananda 2006 consolidated Rubio internationally as a global superstar. Her ninth album, Grand City Pop 2009 had a fresh and original concept, and focused in vision, to reflect Paulina's life and musical experiences she had while traveling the world. Her latest album Brava 2011 focuses in electronic genres. In 2012, Rubio served as a coach on the second season of La Voz Mexico. In 2013, Rubio became a coach on La Voz Kids, and also became a judge on the American version of The X Factor. At the beginning of 2015 Paulina released a new single, Mi Nuevo Vicio, with the collaboration of the young band Morat. The single was a number one hit in Spain and other countries in LA and Europe. Her latest album Desio was released on the 14th of September 2018 and certified gold in Chile, according to E Entertainment. The singer reached number 12 on the 25 sexiest pop divas list. Rubio has sold around 40 million records worldwide as a solo artist, and is considered one of the most influential Latin celebrities in the world by Univision. <laughs> Early life As Rubio has stated of herself, I have been famous since I was born as she is the daughter of Mexican actress Susana Ru, best known by her stage name Susana Dosamonts, and Enrique Rubio, a lawyer of Spanish descent. Rubio was born in Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico. Rubio has a younger brother named Enrique. From the age of five, Rubio was taking singing, acting, jazz, painting, and dance lessons while enrolled at what is now the Centro de Educación Artística (CEA) in Mexico. After two years there, Rubio's parents were contacted by Julissa and Guillermo del Bosque for approval of Rubio's joining a band that would be formed by children from the center. Topic Career Topic Nineteen eighty two to ninety nine Early Work 
On 30 April 1982, she began her singing career when she was 10 years old under the guidance of Miguel Bose, debuting in the popular children's pop group Timbariche. The original band had seven members, Alex Bauer, Benny Ibarra, Diego Scherning, Mariana Garza, Paulina Rubio, Sasha Sokol, and Eric Rubin, who joined a year later. Other members of the band were Eduardo Capitio, Thalia, and Edith Morquez. Rubio recorded 11 albums as part of Timbariche. In 1985, Timbariche participated in the musical Vaselina Spanish adaptation of the American musical Grease. In 1991, Rubio left Timbariche to focus on a solo career, and moved to Spain to begin work on her first album with Arlie Garcia. Having gained popularity in Timbariche and inspired by Thalia's increasing international success in telenovelas, Rubio turned to acting in telenovelas with Televisa. She landed her first role in 1988 as the villain Paulina Montenegro in Passion y Poda. In 1992, she starred in Bela Conmigo, one of the biggest telenovelas of that year, as Andrea. In 1992, she released her debut album, La Chica Dorada, under Emmy Latin. The album's title would quickly become Rubio's trademark nickname. La Chica Dorada was certified diamond in 1997 in her native Mexico, and she was presented with an award during her promotion of Planeta Paulina on Veronica Castro's defunct music show, La Tocada. The first single, Mio was a success, peaking at number 3 on Billboard's Hot Latin tracks while reaching number in Mexico and number 1 in Spain. Ama de Mujer, Abriendo las Puertas al Ama, and Sabra a Miel, were released as the following singles, reaching number 8, number 9, and number 22 respectively in the United States. Sabra a Miel, peaked at number 2 while Abriendo las puertas al Ama peaked at number three on the Mexican charts. In 1993, she released her sophomore effort, 24 Collates, which sold 150,000 copies in two weeks of its release. The album peaked at number one in Mexico. Nieva, Nieva was released as the first single which reached number 27 on the Hot Latin Tracks and became Paulina's first number one single in Mexico, El Mi Engano, and Asunto de Dos, were released in Mexico and peaked at number one and number five respectively. The same year, Rubio received two nominations for the 1993 Premio Lo Nuestro Awards for the categories Female Pop Artist and New Pop Artist of the Year. In 1995, El Tiempo S. Oro was released. It included the hits, T. Daria Mi Vida, and Nada de Ti, which peaked at number one in Mexico while Hoy T. De Je de Amar peaked at number nine. Also included on the album was the theme song and title track to the 1994 Mexican film Besame en la Boca, in which she also starred as the lead role. In 1996, she released her last album under Emmy Latin, Planeta Paulina, which included the hit single, Enamorada, which peaked at number two in Mexico. Pobre Nina Rica was featured as the theme song of the 1995 telenovela in which she also starred as Alma, Poba Nina Rica. Rubio also recorded English versions of several songs which did not appear on the album. Some of these songs were released years later on the hits compilation I'm So In Love, Gronda Exitos. The first single off the album, Siempre Tuya Desti La Riz peaked at number one in Mexico while Solo Poor T peaked at number seven. Emmy declined to release Paulina's first English crossover album, which was supposed to be the English version of the Planeta Paulina album due to weak sales of the Spanish version. Because of that, Rubio got in a legal battle against Emmy for not fulfilling what they had already planned. She eventually had to pay money so Emmy could let her leave the record company. After the release of Planeta Paulina, Rubio took a break on her career. 
except for her participation in 1998's successful Reencuentro tour with Timbreish, Rubio was absent from the music scene for nearly four years. Topic 2000-02, Paulina and Border Girl. Paulina's return to the music scene began in the summer of 1999 when she recorded Richard Daniel Roman's Vive el Verano, the theme song to a summer TV show where she was the host of In Spain. On 23 May 2000, Rubio released her fifth album, Paulina, her first release under Universal Music Latino. She was given complete control over the album. It was nominated three times at the second annual Latin Grammy Awards for Album of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best Female Pop Vocal Album. She became the winner of multiple prestigious awards. It became Rubio's first number one album on Billboard's Top Latin Albums chart, and number 156 on the U.S. Billboard 200, and was on the charts for more than two years. Paulina was the best-selling Latin album in the United States in 2001, selling over one million copies in the U.S. alone. Paulina has sold more than four million copies. The album's singles, Lo Jare Por Ti, El Ultimo Adios, Why Yo Sigo Aqui, and Yo No Soy Esa Mujer, peaked at numbers 13, 18, 3 and 7 respectively on Billboard's Hot Latin Tracks chart. Other releases include, Sexy Dance, and Tal Ve, Quizza, which peaked at numbers 34 and 42 on the same chart. All singles have peaked inside the top 10 in Mexico. She then embarked on a tour across North America and Europe to promote Paulina. On 18 June 2002, Rubio's sixth album Border Girl, her first foray into English language pop, was released. The album peaked at number 5 in Mexico, number 14 in Spain, and number 9 in Canada. In the U.S., the album debuted at number 11 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart and was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America RIAA for shipments of 500,000 copies in the country. The first single, Don't Say Goodbye, peaked at number 41 position on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, while the Spanish version reached number 5 on the Hot Latin tracks, The One You Love was released as the second single reaching number 98 on the Hot 100 while the Spanish version, Todo Mi Ama, reached number 5 on the Hot Latin Tracks chart, becoming her second top 5 hit from the album. Also, the Spanish version of the single, Casanova, reached number 37 on the Hot Latin Tracks. On 21 June 2002, the Houston, Texas radio station 104.1 KRBE declared 21 June, Paulina Day, in Houston. In the fall of 2002, Rubio toured and performed material from Border Girl as the opening act for fellow Latin pop star Enrique Iglesias. Two thousand and four to zero eight, Paul Latina and Ananda. Rubio's seventh studio album, Paul Latina, was released in two thousand and four. It became her second album to debut at the top of the Top Latin Albums chart and peaked at number one hundred and five on the Billboard two hundred. The album's first single, T Kisha Tanto became her biggest single to date, becoming her first single to reach the top position on the Billboard Hot Latin Tracks chart for six non-consecutive weeks. Its third single, Dame Otro Tequila, also reached number one. Other releases included, Algo Tienes, and Mia both which made the Billboard's Hot Latin Tracks top ten, reaching numbers four and eight respectively. 
The same year, she hosted the MTV Video Music Awards Latinoamerica 2004, becoming the first time ever a female artist hosted the event. There she performed a mix of Dame Otro Tequila and Pitbull's Culo. Rubio was also named People en Español's 2005 Star of the Year. Rubio attended the 2004 and 2005 Billboard Latin Music Awards, performing T. Keisha Tanto and Algo Tienes, respectively. Pau Latina won several awards during the year and was nominated for a Latin Grammy for Best Pop Female Vocal Album in 2004. In 2005, she was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Latin Pop Vocal Album. She was the only female nominated in that category. She began her second solo tour and first solo world tour, called the Pau Latina Tour in 2005 through 2006. Rubio released her eighth album Ananda on 19 September 2006. It reached number 25 on U.S. Billboard 200 Albums Chart, and the number one spot on Top Latin Albums. Ananda was certified and given a multi-platinum award for album sales of 250,000 in the U.S. and Puerto Rico. Its first single, Ni Una Sola Palabra, reached number 98 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, and was Rubio's third song to top both the Hot Latin songs and Pop Latin songs. It additionally won a Billboard Award in 2007. Nada Puede Cambiam was released as the second single from the album, and had moderate success peaking at number 21 on the Hot Latin songs and reached number 10 on the Mexican chart. The music video as well as the song features American guitarist Slash. The third single released from Ananda was, Iudum. It had a lower success, reaching numbers 36 on the Hot Latin songs and 12 in Mexico. Rubio performed at the Nobel Peace Prize concert in Oslo, Norway, alongside Rihanna, John Legend, and Lionel Richie, who also lined up to honor the 2006 Nobel Peace Prize recipient, Muhammad Yunus. In 2007, Rubio recorded the song, Nina, as a duet with singer Miguel Bose, from his album Pepito, Nina, became a major hit in Mexico, peaking at number two for several weeks. It was also nominated for Record of the Year at the 8th Annual Latin Grammys. Rubio embarked on her second world tour AMA, Luz y Sonido in 2007. In October, the Spanish edition of Cosmopolitan magazine featured her apparently naked underneath a red, white, and green sheet. A government probe was open about whether or not she had desecrated Mexico's flag. The Mexican government said she may have violated an article in the National Flag, Shield and Anthem Law, which states that, "...private individuals will give the appropriate respect to the national symbol and handle it with care." The offense can be punished by fines ranging from $45,000 to $50,000 MXN Mexican pesos and jail time of up to 36 hours. However, in a published report, her mother, Susana Dosamonts, said that the artist did not authorize such photos. In 2008, Rubio participated in the mega event Alas, developed simultaneously in Mexico and Argentina. Rubio performed in Buenos Aires in front of 180,000 people, along with Shakira, Calais 13, Mercedes Sosa, Alejandro Sanz, and Gustavo Cerati. Topic 2009-10 Grand City Pop. Rubio released the album Grand City Pop on the 23rd of June 2009 and was met with both critical acclaim and commercial success. The first single off the new album was called Causa y Efecto. Speaking to a Mexican radio program, the Golden Girl said that the new material presented many changes, while also explaining, 
At the same time I remain very loyal to my music, my rancheras, boleros with my those rhythms with children, those children's songs with such simple rhythms." The production has songs by Mario Domm, the leader of Camila, and Estefano. She later continued, "...there are some songs of mine with Coti, this is an album to get out the child from within us." It also includes work by Los Rabanes and Jeremias. The album sold 10,788 copies in its first week of release in the United States. Later, a Spanish website published that Grand City Pop sold more than a million and a half copies worldwide. With the success of Grand City Pop, Rubio performed at many award shows. Rubio's big comeback took place in the month of April at the 2009 Latin Billboard Music Awards, where Rubio performed the lead single, Causa y Efecto, for the first time. Rubio performed live at Univision's Premios Juventud, singing, Causa y Efecto, with a different musical arrangement and choreography. Rubio appeared at Los Premios MTV Latinoamerica 2009 on the 15th of October along with Cobra Starship performing Good Girls Go Bad and Ni Roses Ni Jagits. She was the female performer with the most nominations and second most overall video of the year, best artist, best pop artist, best solo act and artist of the year, winning best solo act and best live performance for her performance with Cobra Starship. Paulina began her Grand City Pop Tour, her third international trek in September 2009. The album's first single, Causa y Efecto was released with incredible success, topping the Billboard Hot Latin Songs chart for five consecutive weeks, as well as topping the charts for several weeks in Mexico. It became Paulina's fourth number one on the Hot Latin Songs chart. The song also had success in Spain, where it topped the airplay charts for several weeks and peaked at number seven on the official chart, while topping the charts in several Latin American countries. The second single released from Grand City Pop was, Ni Roses Ni Jagits, which peaked at number 9 on the Billboard Hot Latin Songs chart and number 5 on the Latin Pop chart. It is described as being ranchera, pop with a hip-hop beat. The music video was directed by acclaimed director, Jesse Torero. On of November 2009 she released the official remix of, Ni Roses Ni Jagits, with a new video and it featured the Cuban rapper Pitbull. The Mr. and Mrs. Smith themed video was premiered to the world in early 2010. Grand City Pop received a Grammy nomination at the 52nd Annual Grammy Awards for Best Latin Pop Album. The third single from the album was Algo de T which was released to radio on the 22nd of March 2010 in Spain and on the 19th of May 2010 in the US however Universal Music Latino later declined to continue promotion of Algo de T to radio outlets as a result it was unable to chart it received radio support only from the Los Angeles based KSSE 107.1 FM Super Estrella station in February 2010, Paulina participated in a charity song for the people of Haiti, a cover of We Are the World, in Spanish, titled Somos el Mundo. Later on, Paulina announced via Twitter that a duet with a talented English singer would be released soon. A few weeks later, a duet featuring Paulina and English singer Tayo Cruz leaked to the internet, which later turned out to be a Spanglish version of Cruz's single, Dirty Picture. The collaboration was released on the Spanish edition of his album Rockstar. In February 2011, it was confirmed that Paulina would participate on MTV Unplugged, Los Tigres del Norte and Friends, a live album by Los Tigres del Norte. Paulina and the band performed, Gulps en el Corazon, 
which was released as the first single off the album on 23 May 2011. Paulina was also featured in Gloria Trevi's album, Gloria, on the track, No Al Alguasal. The song was expected as the third single off Trevi's album, but failed to get a release. <laughs> 2011-14, Brava, and television work Work on Rubio's tenth studio album, Brava, started in 2010. At the time, she was writing songs with Nelly Furtado and Cobra Starship, while also working with Moroccan producer Redun. She said that the reason she wanted to do a Spanglish album is that she wanted to mix the language of her home Mexico and the United States. I grew up in Mexico, but I've always been between the United States and my country. This is all done with a wink and a nod to Spanglish culture, which continues to grow and has a foot in both worlds." The singer said. She stated in a radio interview that this album would be different from all her other albums because being a mother and the death of her father had inspired her tremendously. She also said that 70% of the album's songs would be in Spanish, while only 30% in English. Brava was released on the 15th of November 2011 with 10 tracks, 7 of which were in Spanish, while 3 in English. Mi gustas tanto. The lead single was to be released on the 13th of September 2011, but was released a week prior. Mi voy was released as the album's second official single in Latin America on 14 February 2012, with a reworked version featuring the Mexican singer-songwriter Espinosa Paz. A new English song titled, Boys Will Be Boys, was released in Europe on 24 March 2012. The song was released as the first single from Brava. Reload, an EP which included eight songs in English produced by Redun. The song was also produced by Redun, who also produced the music video of the single. The video was filmed in London. In 2012, two editions of the album were released and they included all the songs Paulina worked on with Redun. Europe's edition was titled Brava. Reload and it was released on 24 July 2012, while the Latin American edition was called Bravissima, and was released on 18 September 2012 and the U.S. edition on of October. Rubio participated as a coach on the second season of Le Voz. Mexico along with Jenny Rivera, Miguel Bose and Beto Cuevas. The second season premiered in Mexico on 9 September 2012. Rubio was also one of the three coaches for La Voz Kids, the singing competition for kids from 7 to 14 years old on Telemundo. Although she was initially slated to return for the series' second season in 2014, on 23 December 2013, Telemundo announced that Rubio would be replaced by singer Natalia Jimenez. In January 2014, Rubio then sued Telemundo for alleged breach of contract. In May 2013, it was confirmed that Rubio would become a new judge for season three of the American version of The X Factor alongside Simon Cowell, Demi Lovato and fellow new judge Kelly Rowland. In December 2014, Rubio guest starred as herself on the CW series, Jane the Virgin. Topic: 2015 present, 11th studio album Desio. Rubio first teased a new single on Valentine's Day in 2014, playing a La Bomba esque song, Cuento Ti Quiero, with producers in the studio. Even though she performed it live several times, the song's release as the album lead single was cancelled. In February 2015, Rubio's single, Mi Nuevo Vicio, featuring Colombian group, Morat was released. It reached number one in Spain, and number 16 in Mexico. 
It additionally attained a 2x platinum certification in Spain for sales of 80,000 copies. In December 2016, she confirmed that the new album will feature contributions by DJ Snake and Selena Gomez, stating, My new album is like another member of the team, or the family. It will be a true warrior, has something from all genres, from banda to pop, collaborations with DJ Snake and Selena Gomez. I tried to keep a key element, that the music is danceable." Gomez representatives later denied that she worked with Rubio. Rubio then continued to release multiple singles, C.T. Vass, Paulina Rubio song, Me Quema, and Desire Me Tiens Loquita before revealing the title and release date of her new album, Desio, announcing it will be released on September 14, 2018. The first official single off the album is titled Suave Y Sutil and was released on September 7, 2018. The song features a return to her pop sound being a departure from the reggaeton-oriented singles that preceded. The single was produced by Andres Torres and Mauricio Rengifo responsible for productions of Latin hits like Despacito and Echame La Culpa from Luis Fonsi. Other ventures In 2007, Rubio launched her own lipstick in partnership with MAC Cosmetics titled, Rubia. Paulina stated, I love wearing makeup and use MAC products on stage and off, it's suitable for all occasions. I was thrilled when MAC approached me to create a new shade of lipstick and I instantly thought it should be a bold, vibrant matte lipstick that will look sexy on all women. In 2008, Paulina launched her own fragrance titled, Oro. The fragrance was released and created in conjunction with Oracle Beauty Brands. This fragrance is for women like me who believe in themselves, are strong, fun and unpredictable, yet tender and loving. I put so much creativity and love into this fragrance, I feel as if a drop of me is in each and every bottle to be shared with my fans and all women," said Rubio. Rubio has also ventured out into modeling. She has walked on runways of events from designers such as Alvin Valley, Gordy, Roberto Cavalli, Kif Kif, among others. The singer is also signed under Elite Model Management, a modeling agency. In 2003, the singer signed with Mexican shoes company Andrea to be their face for at least three years. Rubio was the face of the opening campaign for the French fashion house Louis Vuitton in Latin America in 2006. In 2013, she launched her own brand of purses and shoes inspired by her son, Andrea Nicolash. She also has a restaurant in Miami Beach called L'Entricat de Paris. Topic philanthropy and humanitarian work In 2007, Paulina joined the Latino Commission on AIDS, an organization in the fight against the spread HIV, AIDS in the Latino community. Paulina became the first Mexican madrina to partner with the organization. Paulina stated, It is important to make our voice heard and try to bring back some of the care that the community shares each day. On 17 May 2008, Paulina performed at the Alas Concert America Latina en Axion Solidara. The organization's mission is to strengthen and expand public and private sector support for early childhood development in Latin America. In 2009, the singer received recognition from the American Heart Association for her work with the organization. Rubio also performed at the event to raise funds. On 3 December 2009, Paulina held a press conference announcing the creation of an organization in partnership with the Lily Clare Foundation to provide assistance to children living with neurological disorders and their families. 
Fundacion Paulina Rubio is a project inspired by children in anguish as a result of homelessness, birth defects, and lack of education among other pernicious plights that many face today. By directing funds through other pre-existing organizations, such as the Lily Clare Foundation, children will receive a unique and comprehensive blend of support services including medical and behavioral genetics clinics, psychosocial counseling, advocacy services, information libraries, and community outreach that will ultimately help improve the lives of families and children living with neurogenetic disorders. In 2010, Rubio hosted the Paulina and and Friends exclusive benefit concert for the Lily Clare Foundation which showcased musicians such as Luis Fonzi, Alex Sintek, Noel Shadris, Rake and Fanny Lou. The purpose of the event was to raise funds to build a family resource center. My friends mean everything to me and I am happy to have the opportunity to share the stage with them to support this great cause. All of them are excellent musicians and I know that as always, they'll do their best to make this an unforgettable night, said the singer. Jeff Simmons, community relations manager for the Lily Clare Foundation said, I'm really surprised to see the number of artists who continue to join in on this great event, it's truly a blessing. Their contribution to the Paulina and Friends concert is spectacular, and the Lily Clare Foundation will be forever grateful. In 2018, Rubio appeared in a PETA video reminding people not to leave animals or children in parked cars. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Personal life. On 30 April 2007, Rubio married public relations executive Nikolaj Kalate Vallejo Nahera in Excoret, a park on the Mayan Riviera in Cancun, Quintana Roo. On 5 May 2010, the artist announced through Twitter that she was expecting her first child. Her brother, Enrique Rubio, corrected the statement that she was supposedly expecting twins, which was not true. Paulina stated that if the child was a boy, he would be named after his father, Nicolás. If it was a girl, she would be named after Rubio's great-grandmother, Michaela. On 15 September 2010 Paulina announced on her Twitter page that she was expecting a boy. On Sunday, 14 November 2010, Rubio and her husband welcomed their first child, a boy named Andrea Nicolás Vallejo Nahera Rubio in Miami, Florida. Prior to the birth, Rubio had planned on having a water birth at home, but was rushed to the hospital and spent the weekend with doctors working to stabilize the health of the baby. Hospital staff tried to send Rubio home so that she could realize her dream of a natural home birth, but the complications led her medical team to schedule a C-section. On the 11th of January 2011, her father, Enrique Rubio González, died at the age of 67 in a Mexico City hospital. A consensus of various news sources attributed his death to kidney failure. In March 2012, Rubio's husband told Ola, that he and the singer were separating after nearly five years of marriage. It has been a decision by both of us, though it's possible that I have been more firm when it came to carrying it out. He said in an interview with the Spanish publication, I have the feeling there is no going back. Vallejo Nahera said, disclosing that he and Rubio had been living apart since November and that their only communication with each other was about their son, Andrea Nicolás, born in November 2010. Nevertheless, Collate said that he will always be grateful to Paulina for their time together. The divorce was finalized in March 2013. In 2013, Rubio began dating Mexican singer Gerardo Bazua, a former contestant from her team on Le Voz. Mexico. In early 2015, reports confirmed that Rubio had broken up with Bazua because she found out he was cheating on her, although on 5 March 2016, Rubio gave birth to their second son in Miami at Mercy Hospital. Topic. Discography 
La Chica Dorada, 1992. 24 Calates, 1993. El Tiempo Es Oro, 1995. Planeta Paulina, 1996. Paulina, 2000. Border Girl, 2002. Pau Latina, 2004. Ananda, 2006. Grand City Pop, 2009. Brava, 2011. Desio, 2018. Topic: Tours. Solo Tours Paulina World Tour, 2001. Pau Lenx Tour, 2004-05. Ama Loves Y Sonido, 2007. Grand City Pop Tour 2009-10 Brava Tour 2012 Desio World Tour 2018 as supporting act Enrique Iglesias Don't Turn Off the Lights Tour 2002 Topic <laughs> Filmography Topic Films Topic Television Topic See also Honorific nicknames in popular music List of awards received by Paulina Rubio Latin pop <laughs>